It was an exciting day for participants and spectators alike when Selkirk College's Mary Hall played host to the third annual RoboGames, an event that highlights both technology and robotics. Since its first year, RoboGames has steadily gained momentum, leading to a highly successful contest this year. Basically in 2012, we, we launched the first RoboGames. Uh, that RoboGames saw 24 students over six schools, each one of them building a, a team robot and then battling them through all the events. And it was a really big success that year. Through the past two years, we've really grown. This year, we've had over 140 people join us for the RoboGames. And that is just blowing our minds. We're, we're ecstatic, we're excited for where it's going and looking forward to th 2015, we know that it's going to be even bigger and better. The Robo Games are a joint venture put on by the Nelson Tech Club and the Kootenai Association of Science and Technology. The games have entrants run their home-built bots through an obstacle course before pitting them against one another in the robot arena. Robots are entered by teams of one to four people, and this year's games had participants ranging in age from 19 down to six. Seven, eight years old, nine years old, we definitely had probably the most number of participants at that age and more than any previous years. Previously, it tended to be in the 12 to 14 age, and this year we really just opened it up to anybody with an interest. It was one third Nelson Tech Club members, two thirds outside communities. The majority coming from Castlegar this year, but we did have New, Be New Denver, we had Trail in Rossland, and basically just anywhere within about 100 kilometer radius has been really interested. Adding to the excitement was a new entry that previously hasn't been seen at the RoboGames before. This year was the first year that we've had a flying entry. So that team basically 3D printed, ordered and built uh, a quadcopter which was blowing our, our minds. It was beyond our expectations. We offered uh, the ability for a flying category and haven't had it in the past. So it was really good. This year we actually saw two of them, only one of them actually entered into the RoboGames. This year's games also helped mark a special occasion for the group as the Nelson Tech Club celebrates their fourth anniversary. With this being our fourth year, we've, we've really just begun. We've, we've hit a nerve in the community. We've found people that are interested. In the past four years, we've had almost 400 participants in our weekly hacker space, and that equates to 200 weeks in a row that people show up, 15 to 40 people, every single week. So we're doing something right in the community, and we're happy to have the support we do. After another successful tech event, organizers are looking Looking ahead to next year's RoboGames, which already promised to be bigger and better. For more information on RoboGames 2015, visit their website, robogames.ca. For Go Kootenays in Nelson, I'm Christina Kruchkowski.